students in this section we are going to see about python data types okay so before going into the subject in detail or topic in detail we need to understand about what is a data type what is a data type it is a type of data which the variable can hold okay before going to uh, learn all the data types we need to so what is a python the python variable acts as a container for storing data values okay the purpose of using a variable is to allow the user to store some values in the python program and we can use that particular set of values later by accessing this variables okay so it is a name that points to a value in the in a particular memory location okay so unlike other programming languages python has no command for declaring a variable okay so for example you can say in c++ you have to declare a variable along with its data type for example in a then a is a variable which you have a data type integer so since uh, there is no uh, command for declaring variable python is explicitly the variables okay so once the variable is created the moment you first assign a variable sorry a value to it okay so a variable created at the moment you first assign a value to it for example a equal to 10 you assign to the variable a value 10 at that moment the variable is created in memory okay so the vari uh, variable name a points to the memory location where the value 10 is stored so that is a python variable then a python variable has three components first component is value okay it is represents any number or a string or a character which is assigned to a variable okay so uh, for assigning this value to a particular variable we are using the assignment operator for the equal to sign then the next component is the identity the identity of a variable refers to the address or the location of a variable in memory okay once a variable is created or once it is assigned to a particular variable then it does not changes once it is created okay if we delete it it is removed from the memory once it it is not changed from that particular memory location so we can access the value using the identity okay then uh, this identity of a variable can be accessed using the id built-in command okay so id of a variable name in parenthesis you select uh, give the variable name then the identity or the location of that particular variable in memory will be returned okay finally the type of variable. okay it determines the values that a variable can have okay so whenever we declare a variable with some value python automatically allocates data type associated with it okay it's a speciality of python programming language okay so we are going to see okay so what are the data types available in python okay so there are uh, five sets of values are available numbers which handles the values then none uh, it's a special data type and then sequences which holds multiple uh, elements together then sets also holds multiple elements together then mappings okay so these are the basic data types available in python okay then this uh, numbers is again categorized in integers and the floating point values then complex values integer values again go to boolean values then sequence data type is again categorized into strings and lists then mappings in mappings the uh, data type we have learned is dictionary okay so these are the data types available in first we are going to see the number data types or numeric data types the numeric data type is used to store numeric values so uh, it is further classified into the four sections which is integers floating point complex and a boolean okay the so the integer long integers and long okay so integers and long uh, is used to represent 
uh, to store whole numbers with the uh, decimal digits with the no fraction okay so integer and a long represents the whole numbers without any fraction or decimal without any fractions for example 35 895 minus 4 then minus 1000 12 these are integer values then floating values are real numbers with the fractional parts okay so they signify real numbers then they used to store the numbers with the fractional part. okay for example 65.21 then minus 87.321 etc then complex numbers are commonly used in scientific calculus they are pair of real and imaginary numbers they take the form of a plus b j okay so a is the floating point part and is the real part of the complex number for example minus 5 plus 6 j then 4 plus 6 j okay then boolean is the data type you commonly used in the case of comparison sections okay so they are used in a situation where comparisons to be made okay so they all always result in the true or false only okay so two possible values for the boolean data type which are either true or false to see is none okay it is used to represent absence of values okay so if in some in some situations if some data is missing or if you want to uh, represent the absence of value then none data type is used when we try to print this value or display the value of particular variable holding this none value then the interpreter displays nothing okay then sets okay sets are unordered collection of heterogeneous values okay so it can store any type of data heterogeneous means type of data can be stored in sets okay unordered collection of data then mappings mappings are also unordered and mutable and the specialty of mappings is that data is represented and accessed by key and value pairs okay so example dictionary sequences so sequences are ordered collection of items which are also heterogeneous that means we can have multiple type of data together so they are indexed by integers okay their uh, individual elements inside the sequences are accessed using indexes okay so for a uh, list tuple strings etc so these are the different data types available in python okay so five types of data here only then numbers none sequences sets and mappings then uh, these numbers are again categorized into four which are uh, which represents uh, which represents all numbers that is decimal numbers without any fractional part then floating point numbers are used to signify real numbers with the fractional part then complex numbers are you uh, are a combination of real and imaginary numbers having the form of a plus a then finally boolean is to represent uh, a result of a comparison which is result in either true or false then none is a special data type which is having an unidentified value which is which is commonly used to represent the absence of value uh, sets are unordered collection of heterogeneous values okay so it can store any type of data without any duplicate okay so it is immutable sets are immutable that means once created it cannot be changed okay then uh, mappings they are unknown mutable okay there is no particular order is there then data is represented and accessed by key and value pairs not index values then finally see they are uh, ordered collection of items which is uh, indexed they can uh, which means that we can access each elements based on their position on some values okay these index values are integers then examples are list tuple strings etc okay so that is all about python data types okay